This is Kevin and Kay Seymour's perfect day. Strolling through their Egmont Park stud, looking at their pride and joy, their standard friends. I bought a horse called Crazy Chief at Albany Park one night, and she'd given me $2,000 to go and buy a lounge on the previous week. Oh. I had the $2,000, and I put the $2,000 <laughs> on the nose of the horse at 10 to 1, and it of course won 2000 I was able to pay for the horse, that was the way I got into Did you bring the couch home? Yeah, I had the two thousand yeah, afterwards. Yeah, as well yeah. as the horse. <laughs> yeah. That's where it started. What started off as a hobby all those years ago, harness racing has become another business for the Seymours. Their breeding operation proves just that. Mr. Feelgood is their star, purchased by the Seymours from America after winning the Little Brown Jug. Mr. Feelgood nearly did it all in Australia, which included victory in our greatest race. I, I didn't think we could win it, no, because he'd drawn badly. And Auckland Reactor was the boom yeah, horse. Yeah, and, he, and he, just got the, he just got the run, didn't he? He just got the perfect run. So. Is that I, your... I was standing beside we Kay were, and she we said, here so we go, so here we go, so we both just started screaming. It was just awesome. When you're not expecting something and it happens, it's just the biggest thrill. Mr. Feelgood went back to the inside. Black's a fake. He's holding Carlo Mick. Can he hold Mr. Feelgood? Mr. Feelgood, through on the inside, is going to win the Unit Dominion. Yes! Mr. Okay, who do you love more, Mr. Feelgood or Kevin? <laughs> oh, oh, no, Gareth, that's a hard question. I mean, I'm going to have to say Kevin, aren't I? He's now making quite a name for himself as a stallion. Nice foals. He is. All his foals are really nice. They were um, very upstanding, legged horse, and just look good. Yeah. I guess you'd have to say it's a promoter's dream to yes. to win 1.7 million dollars for an outlay of 600. Hurricane King Cole is Egmont Park's new stallion. He was fast and electric in America, winning more than 500 thousand dollars in prize money. I had a number of people scouting out in America for me to find a sensational producer of young uh, horses. Uh, I found this family um, and Hurricane King Cole became available through John McDermott uh, to come to Australia. One of the things I was really looking for was um, a horse that could produce fast young juvenile horses. This horse has gone five times in 151 and a touch yeah. as a two year old. So he's got that early young speed. Attracting the best stallions at an affordable price is Kevin Seymour's plan to inject new life into the breeding industry, and it's working. You've got to understand that um, if you get a good horse, it's OK. But the problem is that there's only a small number of good horses. I've got to make it so that those people who have ordinary horses can make money as well. Yep. That's what we've done in Queensland. We're giving $12,000 for the first win of a filly and $10,000 for the first win of a colt. So that offsets your breeding costs yep. and your racing costs. And you can come back? Yeah, again. Kevin Seymour also believes harness racing can have a bright future if the sport comes together and thinks outside the square when it comes to their business plan. Kevin, many people ask me when I come to Queensland, do you know anything about this Gold Coast track? When are we getting another track in Queensland? Well, that's uh, the $64 question at the yeah. present time. I'll just give you a bit of background. I mean, first of all, we acquired 150 acres for the Gold Coast Club. Uh, it's now been purchased. Um, it's ready to be developed. We applied to the Gold Coast City Council for a track the same as Mohawk, so we're looking outside the square as far as racetrack surfaces and design. Um, we've got the approval now from the council, um, we've got the engineering drawings done, we've got everything done that has to be done that you could start the track tomorrow. It's only a case now of getting uh, funding from the Queensland Government. But the Gold Coast have learnt you've got a good business proposal there that they won't have to rely necessarily on turnover. No, well, the good thing about the Gold Coast is that the committee down there has been pretty astute. Um, as part of the development plan, they're um, going to develop 252,000 square metres of industrial land on the site, which will give them an income of about between six and eight million dollars a year, yep. um, so that they can then uh, add to their prize money, put it back into a pool, uh, into for all clubs. But to give you an example, if they were getting, say, between six and eight million dollars a year, they could treble their price money. Yeah. It could go from six thousand to eighteen thousand. The dramas at Globe Derby is a perfect example, according to Seymour. The millionaire property developer says that situation can quickly be turned around. All that frontage along the main road could be dealt for fast foods, taverns, and things of that nature. Now I know the club's got to get funding to to do that, but I'm sure that uh, with a bit of work from three or four of us. Uh, we could work out how to fund it and um, how to make it very viable for them. But that's just that's a, a, a typical example of land sitting there being unused, unproductive, 
not income bearing, but if you can convert that to an income stream, um, then they'd have a very, a very nice little income. For the time being, Kevin Seymour will continue to put his heart and soul into a sport he loves. His message simple to the younger generation. You have to take a punt. You have to, you have to challenge yourself and convince yourself you've got the ability to do things. It's, it, a lot of it is all about self-confidence. Yep. And if you can get out there and get that confidence, and uh, you've got to take some risks, as you know, um, but you're well on the way to making a success. You can do anything you want. You can. Yep. This is a big country, and it's a lucky country. Yep. And it's opportunities galore for everybody. Thank you.